From a spider that can be up to a foot long to a spider whose bite will make you dance, today we look at the top most terrifying spiders in the world. Number 13, Sydney Funnel Web Spider. One of the world's most dangerous spiders is found only in the small area that surrounds the Australian city of Sydney. The Sydney funnel web spider usually lives in the bushlands in this region, but can also be found prowling about in the suburbs. The spider can be identified by its shiny black exterior and large size, having a maximum leg span of 10 centimeters. They also have large fangs that can easily plunge through skin and cartilage. They usually feed on smaller creatures such as insects, but have also been known to devour birds that fall into their trap door like burrows. They contain an extremely toxic venom that can stop a human's heart in under 15 minutes. Strangely enough though, a bizarre evolutionary mishap, the venom is only usually harmful to invertebrates or primates. If a dog or other small mammal is bitten, their immune system usually nullifies the venom's effects within the hour and they'll be fine. Number 12, Tarantula Wolf Spider. There is an old Italian superstition that states that if you're bitten by a tarantula wolf spider, you will become hysterical and unable to control the feelings of restlessness or overexcitement. This effect was called tarantism, and it was believed that the only cure was dancing. This is how the Italian dance, the tarantella, came to be. The tarantula wolf spider, though technically not a tarantula, is actually where the type of spider derived its name. It is actually a member of the wolf spider family and is found throughout southern Europe. Though they do possess venom, it is not actually hazardous to humans, and it's only about as painful as getting a flu shot. Tarantula wolf spiders dig burrows in the ground and usually only come out at night, as they're nocturnal. They hibernate during the winter months and tend to only be encountered when someone accidentally steps into their dwelling. The largest they've been found is just over an inch long from head to spinneret, putting them on the larger size of the spider size spectrum. Number 11, brown recluse. Brown recluse can be found in the central United States and as far east as Georgia. They may not be large measuring half an inch at the largest, but they're terrifying due to the dangerous venom they contain. You can tell that you are dealing with a brown recluse by its brown coloration, which ranges from almost yellow to dark brown and the distinct violin-shaped markings on their backs. They're mainly harmless to humans as they try to avoid all contact, but not if they're spooked when uncovered from their common hiding spots like under rocks or logs. When they do bite, the venom they release can be extremely harmful to humans. Most of the time, the bite will only affect the area that is bitten, causing a blister and possibly a necrotic ulcer. The venom can spread to the rest of the body and cause fever or flu-like symptoms, but an untreated wound that becomes infected is usually the cause of the worst result from a brown recluse attack. Number 10, Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula. The Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula of Northern South America is the largest spider in the world by size and weight. Its leg span can get up to a foot long, and they have been found weighing upwards of six ounces. It can be spotted by its size and its furry reddish-brown exoskeleton. Though when it was first discovered, it was seen scarfing down a hummingbird, thus giving it its nickname, this is a rare occurrence as their diet consists mainly of insects. Though their size and appearance can be intimidating, they are essentially harmless to humans and their bite is often compared to that of a bee sting. Because of this, they are one of the types of tarantula that are often kept as pets. Number nine, redback spider. This cousin of the black widow dwells throughout Australia and can be identified by its black color and thick red stripe on its abdomen. Redback spiders are a fairly smaller spider growing up to only about one centimeter in diameter and are usually found hiding in debris, wood piles, or in bushes trying to keep warm. Because of this, attacks from redbacks are frequent, but since antivenom was first synthesized, there hasn't been a single fatality as a result. One will be able to tell if they're bitten by this creepy crawly if they start to experience fatigue and nausea or irregular oversweating around the site of the bite. If you experience these symptoms, you are most likely bitten by a female redback as the males are too small and their venom is non-toxic to humans. Number eight, Kauai Cave Wolf Spider. The Kauai Cave Wolf Spider is one of the oddest looking and rarest spiders in the world. Like its name suggests, it only dwells on the Hawaiian island of Kauai where it hides in the lava tubes of the island's volcano. The spider has no eyes, and because of this, it is referred to colloquially as the blind wolf spider. They can be identified by their long translucent legs, rust-colored head, and eggshell white abdomen. At their max, they can grow up to just over three quarters of an inch in body length. Unlike most spiders, they don't spin webs. Instead, they stalk and tackle their prey using their size to overpower small insects and tiny crustaceans, called amphipods. They're not known to be hazardous to humans. 
but human encroachment on their habitat and their need for a very specific environment to live has them on the endangered species list. Number seven, the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider is quite large and very dangerous, also known as banana spider due to their frequency of being found in shipments of bananas. Brazilian wandering spiders were voted the most venomous animal in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2007. They are found all over Central and South America and are called wandering because they're nomadic in nature, foregoing the common spider abode of a web or burrow and instead scurrying along the ground in rainforests. Their venom contains a powerful neurotoxin that can shut down the body in minutes if not immediately treated. Besides the toxin, the venom is known to contain an excessive amount of serotonin, which causes the bite and symptoms to become excruciatingly painful. These spiders, which can grow upwards of five inches long, have been known to crawl into people's beds, shoes, or clothes when looking for places to lurk until feeding time. This is especially terrifying, as they are also known to be one of the more aggressive species of spider, attacking anything that resembles food. Their diet usually consists of lizards, small mammals, and insects. Number six, assassin spider. The assassin spider is probably the most bizarre looking spider in the world. It has a long neck and even longer jaws. These qualities are what give it the nickname pelican spider. They are very rare, only living in southern parts of Africa and Australia. And their unique physical structure harkens back to prehistory, as they're believed to be from a splinter group of spiders far back in the evolutionary timeline. They're called the assassin spider because their diets consist mainly of other spiders, whom they hunt by waiting until they crawl by and then plunging their sharp jaws into them. They are fairly small and not harmful to humans, but their reputation as spider hunters and creepy looks make them terrifying to encounter. Number five, black widow. The dangerous black widow of North America can be spotted by its jet black exterior and the iconic red hourglass on its abdomen. They're known to have a maximum leg span of an inch and a half long. And as in most spiders, the females are much larger than the males. Black widows are considered the most venomous species of spider on its home continent. And though fatalities are rare, their bite can really wreck a person's day. If a person is bitten, they will experience increased blood pressure, severe nausea, high fever, and vomiting. If the bite isn't treated promptly, it can do permanent damage to the body, especially in children. Black widows like to hide in warm locations near the ground, like cracks of houses, shrubs, and under rocks. But their first instinct when encountering a human is to flee. The black widow gets its name from the fact that on rare occasions, the female spiders will eat the male after mating. Number four, mouse spider. There are several different species that are classified as mouse spiders and are all native to Australia. These spiders can be identified by their frightening appearance. They have an abdomen that looks like a microphone, giant fangs, and a shiny black exoskeleton that sometimes bears striking red features. They can grow to over an inch in size and dig deep burrows that they use to trap unsuspecting prey. Though they're not common in urban areas, they can be very dangerous to humans if provoked as they have one of the most toxic venoms of all spiders, comparable to the funnel web spider. They aren't considered to be aggressive, however, and may not even inject their venom if biting a human. They usually reserve this for their main source of nutrients, insects. Number three, bird dung crab spider. The disgusting looking bird dung crab spider, also known as a bird dropping spider, gets its name from its odd choice of camouflage. In order to avoid detection from bigger predators, it is colored like that of bird feces, and even puts off a scent that is said to be almost identical. These spiders can grow up to 14 millimeters in body length and mainly dwell in Australia and surrounding islands. Their mimicry doesn't end at bird droppings. In order to attract mates and to catch their preferred prey of moths, they release similar pheromones to that of moths. When male moths fly in thinking that they're about to get lucky, the bird dung crab spider lashes its giant forelegs out and devours them. They tend to avoid all contact with humans if possible and don't do any harm other than their stinky smell. Number two, six-eyed sand spider. Beneath the desert sands of South Africa, the six-eyed sand spider lies and waits for its next victim. These spiders exhibit some of the most perfect camouflage in the creature world. They are almost indistinguishable from the sand due to their color and habit of collecting dirt particles in their tiny hairs to further improve their hiding ability. They've been known to feed on any insect and ambles by them and even seen capturing scorpions. They're considered a medium-sized spider, but contain one of the most toxic venoms ever found in a spider. Because of their shy nature, there aren't many cases of them biting humans. But in the wounds believed to have been caused by six-eyed sand spiders, the results were either severe necrosis of the affected body part or fatal massive hemorrhaging. 
Likely, in even the rare occurrences of an encounter with the spider, they aren't prone to biting unless significantly provoked. Number one, giant huntsman spider. The giant huntsman spider is the largest species of spider in the world by leg span, as they can grow up to a foot long from tip to tip. Different types of the behemoth huntsman spider can be found throughout the world, but the giant huntsman mainly lives in Southeast Asia, first being found in the country of Laos. They commonly reside in forest areas or in caves. Like its name suggests, the spider tracks its prey rather than lying in wait in a nest and typically eats large insects like grasshoppers or beetles. While they do contain venom, they aren't considered to be dangerous to humans aside from the pain of the bite. 